What up guys, so I am going to start documenting my meals and the goal, so let's see, so the goal is, I have a few goals, so let's see, goals, so let's go with white, so goals, one, um, macros. So, am I going to get enough protein in this meal? Is there a nice ratio of basically protein? So, right now, I'm looking for at least, let's say, 20%. Greater than 20% protein. Next, we have calories. And I want it to be approximately 600 calories. Calories per meal. <coughs> Next, what else is important? The next one well, that's very important is taste. And I guess it's sustained taste. There's like taste and then there's taste and then sustainable. Sustainable. Can I eat this often? That is the question. Can I eat this often? Next, um, cost. Is it cheap? Is it expensive? Next is um, prep time. Prep time. And finally, clean up. which it's kind of hard to see, but so that is how I am measuring my foods. So let's create, oops. So let's create a copy of this. Copy. Oops. Okay. Let's see how my... What did I make? I made... Um, bagel. Let me see if I can... Uh, Shrink this down. Resize. Yes, I can. Okay. So, what did I make? So it was a Kirkland bagel. One, two, Stater's cream cheese. Three, some onions. Four, smoked salmon. Kirkland. Okay, so macros, what was the amount? I will need to check <coughs> my app. So let's see. 
My Fitness Pal. <coughs> so it ended up being Cal's 606. Um, carb C F P 60 fat 25 protein 35 <coughs> um, and then well we multiply by this by 4 equals 145 145 over 606 Echo, what's 105 divided by 606? 105 divided by 606 is approximately 0 0.1733. So it's actually 17%. Why does that not sound right? <coughs> Yeah, why does that not sound right? I'm gonna do some calculation. Calc. One forty five over six oh six. Twenty. Echo, what's one forty five over six hundred and six? 145 divided by 606 is approximately 0 0.2393. So, whatever. So, 24%. So, it checks the first box. And it is approximately... Oh, yeah. Sustainable. And I forgot the most important thing. Feel. Okay, taste, check, check, check. Sustainable, I guess I should remove that, it's kind of hard to say. Cost, cost is, I'm not sure, but meal prep time is good. <clears throat> and then feel, sleepy. I would give this a... X cost. I would say it's expensive. Okay. So how much does it really cost? Mm. I actually don't remember the price of the salmon, but I believe it was fifteen bucks. No, I'm just bucks. So about 24 ounces. I actually do not remember how much it cost. Twenty-one sixty-nine. So, wow, so it's 14 bucks a pound. So I use about four ounces. 
So, Echo, what's 14.46 divided by 4? 14.46 divided by 4 is 3.615. 36. So the salmon alone was $3.61. The bagels, if I recall correctly, it's 6 bucks for 12 bagels. Or maybe it's 8 bucks. Let me see. Is it eight bucks? I don't remember. Let me see if I can Google it. Seven bucks. So it's seven bucks. Echo, what's seven divided by twelve? Seven divided by twelve is zero point five eight three three. Let's say it's sixty cents. And then the cream cheese itself is pretty cheap. It's like two fifty. I don't know, it's negligible. So it was approximately, I'd say it's like 450. <sighs> so overall, I would say the important thing here is um, X factor. So let me see. Cost, taste, yep. That is a really good metric there. Um, so overall, I would say the biggest thing here is it's not the best, but in terms of keeping my diet going, like keeping me enjoying my food, um, it helps pre prevent me from getting sick of the other stuff that I'm eating. So ultimately, this is something that would be good in my diet because the X factor is it keeps my taste buds happy so that I can continue to eat within my calorie count so I don't lash out. So overall, I would say it's great.